<laughs> Hello everyone, this is Koge and welcome to ATKC Home Improvement Show. Today we're going to talk about the difference between Orbital Sander and Random Orbit Sander. They are both different tools with significant differences. Which one would you choose to do your sanding work? This one or this one? Which sander you should use depends on what you are looking to do. And understanding the big difference between these two small sanders will help you to choose the right sander for the right job. Here we have Bosch Professional GSS 140 Orbital Sander. While on this side, we have Bosch Professional GEX 125-1 AE Random Orbit Sander or also commonly called as Eccentric Sander. Now look at this Orbital Sander. Orbital Sander moves in a very small circular motion around a small orbit. This is why it might leave a swirl pattern marks especially when we are sanding across the wood grain. So the scratch pattern or the performance will definitely be different comparing brands to brands. On the other side, random orbit sander moves back and forth in an oscillation spin, which does not create a distinct pattern marks. The best features about orbital sander is because of this square shape, which allows it to go up against the edges and also corners. For Random Orbit Sander? Hmm, this is a bit difficult. Now, what about Random Orbit Sander? Random Orbit Sander uses Velcro Tripe Sanding Disc for rapid fastening and changing. It is easy to install. However, the price is slightly higher. The GEX 125-1AE comes with a speed adjuster function here. And it also comes with the Bosch Microfilter System for efficient dust extraction. This one. These two features are not available for GAS 140 Orbital Sander. And if you are comparing about the pricing, definitely Random Orbit Sander is a bit higher as compared to Orbital Sander. In summary, the Orbital Sander is the older, simpler and less expensive tools among these two. They are both perfect for preparing a surface for repainting and also sealing. Random Orbit Sander will create lesser visible swirl marks and it also can remove more materials as compared to Orbital Sander. With its variable speed control, you can even use it for polishing and buffing. After watching the comparison, which sander are suitable for you and why? Please let me know, yeah? For me, personally, my option will be Random Orbit Sander because I find that the available speed functions is very important for me, especially during my woodworking project. If you enjoy watching our video and love to do woodworking, please give me a like and share this video. And do not forget to turn on the notification bell here. Ding ding! I'll see you in the next coming videos. Bye bye!